The Emotiva B2 Plus, the big brother to the B1 Plus, which I own and actually use as a daily driver at my desk. Full disclosure, I purchased the B1 Plus with my own money, but the B2 Plus was sent in for a review from Emotiva. That being said, all thoughts and opinions are of my own. In fact, when dealing with Emotiva, there is no pushiness at all when it comes to these reviews. I point this out because sometimes companies will ask you to mention certain things or highlight topics, but in this case, it's really an open book. Now getting back to the review. I tend to rotate a few different pairings of amps and speakers at my desk, but often find myself back at the B1 Plus. It's always been a great size for my desk, and when paired with a sub, in this case the SVS SB3000, it tends to perform really well. So if I was looking at the B1 Plus and the B2 Plus, what might draw me to the new offering? First of all, let's cover the similarities and differences between these two, see which one sticks. Both the B1 Plus and the B2 Plus have the same 32mm folded ribbon tweeter, which is a win for me. The tweeter shines in the B1 Plus, and I'm glad they kept this for the B2. There's a high frequency clarity with this tweeter that really does it for me. It's something that I would say highlights the first generation. Both of them are rear ported, the same placement principles will apply between the two. I didn't notice any immediate differences in location distances. The recommended power for the B2 Plus is 50 to 300 watts, while the B1 is 50 to 250, and this is just likely due to some of the driver differences in the woofer. Both have the same efficiency of 86 dB. Not a super sensitive speaker, but I can also say I have ran this with as little as 25 watts during some of my tests, and it still performed just as you would expect it to. Don't be scared off by this number. Oftentimes, the speakers that boast extreme sensitivity are also boasting unrealistic numbers. This is a big one, the woofer sizes. The B1 Plus comes in with five and a quarter, and the new B2 has a six and a half inch woofer. Due to the larger woofer size, the B2 Plus has a frequency response of 40 hertz, while the B1 Plus has 48. This does make a difference and may affect how you use these. The B1 for myself is a sub-required bookshelf. To some it may not be, but what can I say? I like the bottom end. The B2 Plus starts to wade into the waters of sub-optional, this alone can offset the price difference between the two speakers if you can hold off on the sub. The larger woofer does add a notable amount of bass in volume as well as depth over the smaller B1 Plus. Speaking of sizes, there is a noticeable size difference between these two. The B1 Plus measures 10 and 3 quarters high by 7 and an eighth wide and 8 and a quarter deep, while the larger B2 Plus measures 12 and 3 quarters high by 8 and a half wide and 11 and a half deep. The B2 Plus speakers can also be bi-amped, while the B1 speakers cannot be. I generally don't take advantage of this, but there are some people out there who will really appreciate it, and by all means, let your freak flag fly. Let's get into the looks. Well, they kind of look like they might fly into your house on a stealth mission. Lots of angles and black. Black is the only color option available. I don't mind the look, I think it's at least interesting, and gives the baffle a little bit of character. The wrap is a little different on these than what most other companies are doing. It's not a wood imitation. I would call it more like a leather imitation wrap. It looks better than a cheaply done wood imitation, and it is held up well on the B1 in my office. If you are familiar with the B1, you already know what you're getting here. It's really just a plumped up version. It will look nearly identical, just on a larger scale. I should also mention the grill. It's the same magnetic grill design as the B1. For myself, I almost always run my speakers without the grills, and I find it kind of annoying when you have the peg holes for the grills. So kudos to you, Emotiva, keep the magnets coming. Now for the sound. Earlier I mentioned the clarity in the tweeter, and I still feel this is a great starting point here. We still have the same vocal performance and clarity you're accustomed to if you already own the B1. While it's not the best or most refined top end I have ever encountered, I will say you'll be hard pressed to beat it at this price point. The mid to upper range is mostly neutral when I had it paired with the matching Emotiva TA1. The TA1 is a little large for desktop use though, unless you really have a lot of space. And this brings me to my next point on the sound. It's larger with the 6.5 inch woofer. The B1 Plus, I would generally tell people it's a small room speaker, performs great at that job, but it's not something I would put in a larger room. 
The B2 Plus opens up some possibilities. While I still wouldn't put this in a vast space, I had no problems filling a reasonably large room with this speaker. Pair the B2 Plus in a larger room with a sub or two, something like the TA1, or maybe something like this Yamaha AS501, and it does a great job. My desk doesn't call for a large amplifier, so I tested these with the iFi IDSD Neo DAC going into the modest but great performing IEMA A07. The presentation was great across both configurations, although these will still likely remain in the office setting, not because they are not up to the task for certain, only because I have a preference to floor standing speakers in my larger rooms. These speakers will sound great with just about any musical pairing. I bounced between several genres and for the most part experienced a full sound without slop in the bass regions. Everything was pretty tight and controlled. The tweeter performance was what I expected from the previous experience, no shrill or overly thin sounds being reproduced. That being said, I wouldn't describe this as a warm speaker. It's not going to be something that flows out of your speaker like molasses, nor would I say this is a squeaky clean window or overly forward sound that may put some people off. In my pairings, it leans more to the detail spectrum, but didn't go into the offensive category at all. The tone on these speakers is great. I would say listening back and forth on the B1 and B2, if anything, we might have a little better tone in the mid-range, and that's likely just due to the new 6.5 inch driver. Now let's say you're deciding between the B1 Plus and the B2 Plus. Get the B1 Plus if you're using them as a desktop speaker, and have a sub available. I have no problems recommending that speaker, especially at its price point. I feel it's very competitively priced and offers a great value. Get the B2 Plus if you want that extra bass. It will, without a doubt, better produce the low-end frequencies, but it comes at the cost of space. I actually have plenty of space around my desk as I have the speakers on stands, so I'm fine with this size that these come in at. Maybe you don't want a sub or lack the space for it. That's another check for the B2 Plus. Get the B1 Plus if you're on a budget and you're building your system as you go. You can purchase these now, have a great performing speaker, and add a sub down the road as budget allows. If this frees up more capital to buy, say, a better amp or DAC, I say go for it. Get the B2 Plus if these are going in a larger room and you have expectations of something beyond near field listening. The B2 Plus will hold its own in a larger space where I wouldn't necessarily recommend the B1 for this type of configuration. End of the day, both of these are good offerings by Emotiva. Get the one that fits your space and budget. If this is your first Emotiva speaker, it's a great option to see what they all offer. A larger bookshelf like this with a six and a half inch driver is a good way to start or complete your two channel build. I could easily build around this speaker and be very happy with it. If home theater is your thing, these will be up to the task as well. Dialogue with this tweeter will be great. If you have a desired price point and you wanna come in around 500, you could get the B1 Plus and pair that with a Wii Mini and use that as your preamp and streamer and then pair that with the AIMA A07 for an amp. Or for around a thousand, if you want to go a little bigger, you get the B2 Plus and pair that with something like the Emotiva TA1 integrated amp. The nice thing about these speakers is that they're at price points that give you a lot of flexibility in your options without raising the budget too high. If you're unfamiliar with Emotiva as a brand, they're a direct-to-consumer company, no middleman, and I feel it allows them to offer some very competitive components. The support I have received has been great, uh, quick responses, which is something I really look for. The speakers have a five-year warranty, so you can feel pretty safe about your purchase too. They do offer discounts for current and former military, as well as first responders and teachers, so take a look at that as well. Thanks for watching today. I'll see you later. Bye.